will not like go working. Okay. This is a managed office. So managed office, what happens is we create a common area. So clients come, they see that wow, it's a good common area. Do you have this much square feet? Square feet. Why don't we cut that 75,000 square feet and build it for you? So did on uh, every floor. Okay. Yeah. So ultimately we charge. So what is the saving cost of this building? This building signing few two other multinationals here. Very soon. So very small space left. And uh, so this is not just the older uh, building where we have two lakh forty thousand square feet. A bit more like a hotel. So you take a hotel on rent and then you further lease it out. Uh, instead of rooms, we uh, you know it's not a nightly. How many clients have we worked? About 25, 26, 27 clients. Yeah. We all three, I think. We uh, have all three offices. Have so you told them about the? That's where we started from. Yeah. No. So there are multiple major clients there. Uh, 15, 20,000. It's also their office opening today. So there are French one in the UK based also a lot of multinational. So we can give you the list of names. Uh, we'll give you So approximately 0.5 million square feet here. So good. I mean, uh, initially I was very scared. You know, I was, I'm from the north. I had, what's the market response going to be? But thankfully the market has embraced us so well, so well. If they took the uh, space from a developer, like like cafeteria, like uh, if they were to go somewhere else, they would they might have required one lakh square feet. In right. Our journey in Hyderabad has been very interesting, I would say, uh, because the time we took a call to expand in Hyderabad was the peak COVID time. So while entire real estate industry was uh, shaky and they were fearful of what's going to happen next, uh, we and you know all my two other partners, we three. Uh, thought that we'll go against the wave and kind of make use of, use of this opportunity and expand in other cities. So uh, we, uh, in 2020 end, uh, when it was peak COVID, uh, we decided that we'll pick uh, a 300,000 to 400,000 square feet portfolio in Hyderabad. And uh, it's, been, it's been very exciting, although it's been very challenging because we did not anticipate that the uh, uh, that the uh, wave, uh, the second wave and the third wave will come. So we had those challenges like everybody else in the industry. But uh, I think it has picked up very well. We uh, Today, as we speak, uh, we have around uh, half a million square feet portfolio in Hyderabad, and which is almost sold out. Uh, we have about 21 to 22 clients uh, now sitting, mostly multinationals uh, and uh, some of the unicorns like Darwin Box. Uh, they're, they're sitting with us uh, today and they're enjoying our facility. Uh, I think the journey has been very exciting. I, I can't really express uh, a lot in words, but very overwhelming uh, experience overall. Uh, how was this office space growing in See, uh, I would say that, you know, office space industry continue to grow. I mean, uh, at least uh, in this part of the city, the IT, uh, the high tech city and the and the uh, and this entire uh, belt, uh, this continued to grow. I don't think there is any space available. The moment building comes, it's getting sold out. So. For me, if I have to expand in Hyderabad, I mean, today it's not very easy to get spaces from developers. So this part of the city, I think the growth has been fantastic, uh, phenomenal. This is from real estate perspective. Uh, if you talk about managed office space perspective, uh, the business that we are in, uh, it has been phenomenal. Uh, it has been, I would say, more than what real estate industry should have expected. Uh, because I think post COVID, most of the companies or occupiers today, they're looking at a capex light solution. They are wanting more flexible solutions, and hence they they see more merit in signing with managed office spaces than with with the with the, with the developers directly. So uh, very exciting journey for us, for uh, uh, also for companies like uh, uh, like the the IPC World International Property Consultants like CBRE, JLL, uh, Knight Frank Colliers, and and all of these guys. Uh, it has been very exciting. I think this will continue to grow because uh, most of our occupiers are now becoming capex free. Uh, you know, in, in this entire model, and they and and the and the and the services and the entire hospitality that we add to the entire real estate brings them more uh, uh, brings more merit to on their table. Future plans. Uh, see, uh, uh, I mean, future plans in Hyderabad or they in see in Hyderabad. I think we will uh, expand to expand from 0.5 million to at least a million square feet in the next one year or so. And uh, uh, we may outgrow this target because I, I'm very confident that our product is very well established here. Uh, we uh, invested about 75 crores. Uh, uh, I, we made an announcement six months back. I think we are going to uh, uh, invest another uh, similar uh, amount in Hyderabad city. Uh, in fact, a little more than that this time. 
and uh, if the i think the the kind of response we're getting from the market is pretty phenomenal so if uh, it's uh, i mean we we are prepared to even outgrow this uh, uh, this number so it could be 0.5 million minimum and can grow up to about uh, 750 100000 square feet or uh, maybe about a million square feet also